Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, learning SketchUp, we want to review scenes. I want to show you how to create scenes because this is going to help you how to phase your logistics. Uh, scenes basically is going to give you ability to save the camera view or the camera location also your tag situation if you want to have certain tags on and off i want to show you how to delete them rename them how you check the properties of every single scene that you create and much more without further ado let's jump into sketchup okay in today's episode we're going to talk about a very important topic which is my favorite as well and we're going to talk about scene so if you do not have scenes just uh, right click on uh, basically right here and you can basically just turn it on so like under defaults manage trays you know default so if if you don't have it just make sure you can turn it on you know basically comes up over here as a default and you have it in your tray so what is scene um you especially when you're creating logistics you have a different phase of your project let's say you have the existing go to fencing mobilization excavation poor footings you know structure goes up so all of those you model and you create a bunch of tags so scenes help you create each phase by turning on and off and it's gonna save all of those items for you so you can jump to the phase to phase uh, and then basically it's automatically everything is saved the location of the camera the tags the hidden objects and much more is a lot of settings that we can go through so scene is basically is gonna be your friend when you modeling and you're creating your logistics so let me just start with something real simple so I'm gonna get rid of where is my offset okay so let me let's say six inch and I'm gonna get rid of this metal one I'm gonna select this whole thing make them a group so what I'm trying to do at this point I want to create a fence Right. So I want to create a fence and then also we want to start creating our scenes. So let's say this is my fence that I created. So it's this group. I'm going to go inside a group. Let's say my fence is like eight feet tall. Um, just leave it. If you guys can assign any color. So I just don't want to uh, waste any of your time with this. But I'm pretty sure you're going to put the gate and stuff like that. So let's say my first uh, scene is going to come from here, this angle showing the fence of the camera. So this button right here is going to create scene for you. So when you when I basically push it, you can see right here is going to create a scene. Also, it's going to show right here. You can right click on it and then I'm going to rename what it is. Right. So basically it's uh, like putting up like just put fence install right for example so we're gonna do this you can see right here it's gonna be updated um, this one is gonna remove the scene this one is gonna add a scene also this is gonna update a scene update means if let's say you want to change the camera angle if you want to move something add it remove it this is basically is gonna save that scene for you so let's say this is gonna be my actual fence right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just create a low footings real quick so I'm just gonna group this and I'm gonna create a tag I just want to show you guys how basically uh, this items is gonna work so let me push it all up let's say this is my footing right um, so what I'm gonna do I'm basically just want to do a few right here and then also I'm gonna select these guys so what what bas basically what we did is um, 
I went through all of these stuff how you can use the move tool how you can create items real quick so let's say these are all the footings for our building that we are gonna place for now so you can see uh, my fence is on one my footings uh, basically I'm gonna put all of them let me see just put all the footings that I have on one layer so I'm gonna put everything on the footing I'm gonna make sure there you go so we did talk about the first thing we're gonna have a fence right and then right now I want to create a scene then I'm gonna go back and do it so let's say I want to create a scene and then when the excavation and the footings are down I'm gonna create another one so you can right click on here it says add or you can basically come over here and say this one so it's it's up to you so I'm gonna do these uh, basically next one I'm gonna rename it and says add footings or poor footing so right here is just a matter of the time so what I'm gonna do right now if I go back over here and over here you can see it's, it's basically I have to double click you can see the, the actual the location of the view or the camera is changed by the items and not and the reason is right now I need to go back and adjust and that's that's the reason that I created those so let's say for this one I don't want to show the footing because I'm gonna tell everybody that I already putting up the fence so you I can turn this off when I'm on DC scene and you can see I can right click and update right or you can just basically hit the update right here and then for the next scene that we have at the footings what we have basically right now is it's gonna go over there and then it's gonna add the footings right so you guys can see how basically I'm changing the view I'm going through the face so let's add another layer make it three right let's just pour a slab on grid real quick so what we have right now I can add I can rename this it just says you know slab on grade pour for example so what I'm gonna do real quick I'm gonna just basically just do it as a simple rectangle here and let's say we're gonna tell them this is gonna be basically our slab that we're gonna pour right so I'm gonna just push put it right here or let's just raise it right there it's fine so I know it's gonna be it's not gonna be where the eight feet high but I just want to show how basically these items is gonna change one by one or if you want really be uh, you can just place it exactly you know where the footings are for example this is basically our slab on gray so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna just do slab on gray that I created um, I'm gonna click the whole thing right click make group uh, put it under slab on grid so here's a point that I want to mention so each layer that you add you need to go back and update every single scene that you have based on the items that you add move adjust edit hide so any item that you do is not gonna uh, update it by itself in the preview scenes so you need to go back and update those so I'm gonna go back to the fence you can see right here I already had the footing off is saved but not the slab on grade because I added a new layer so what I need to do I need to remove this and basically update so right here you can say update the scene or I can kind of hit this one so when I hit this one it basically opens up a scene update I'll show you how you can kind of get to these items as well so when you hit updates and not using here basically because right here you just quickly update it but if you hit this update over here it's gonna open up this detail window where is this coming from it's basically it's coming from here so this add button that I add so let me just show you if I me move it up and then say the, the plus button I put it over here it basically bringing all the properties for that scene that is created so the first one which is check it says include in animation so if you want to export animation later on that we can go through them you have to have that on you can adjust the name you can add description you have camera location so if this is check 
I'll show you one with unchecked but if this is checked when you move the camera to a different angle the scene is gonna save it um, if the if you have a uh, hidden geometry is gonna save that objects hidden object if me tags that that tags right over there is visible or not you know if you have a section plane on it's gonna keep the section plane and updated the style shadows and axes so this is all the properties that goes to the scene and then if you have all of these checked on when you make any changes it basically give you I will recommend leave all of these on uh, because it's gonna help you a lot down the road so let's just go back to our scene and fix it so the first one is we install this we hit update we're happy with this we go to the next one I'm not happy I don't want to show the slab on grade so I want to turn it off and then I'm gonna update here and then let's say I want to do another view right here I'm gonna remove the footings you know um, and then the fence and let's say we have a slab on grade let's say port right so when I'm here it doesn't matter that this one is selected I'm going right here and I'm gonna update this scene so you saw that how it got updated over here basically so it's it just want to make sure that you guys are um, if there is this one is selected you don't have to go here because if you update over there it's gonna be automatically updated here um, one little note is if you want to move the scenes up and down you can kind of move this arrows you can see how it's going up and down um, and then also this one is gonna make a list a detail large thumbnails or small so if you have a bunch of them and you name them properly you can kind of use the actual list um, this one right here is gonna bring the menu which is gonna be the same item that we access you get it in a, like a different location which is gonna be at scene update rename it if you want to delete that one or you gotta kind of hit this delete button and then this is basically all the details and everything that you can get from the other side so right now I updated this I want to go through the fence so right now you can see I saved the camera over there I'm gonna add the footings I'm gonna sl pour slap so you guys can see how I need to go back and update so if I want to add and let's say another object on this one let's say I want to add this um, let's just group him name him something um, so let me add the tag G1 yeah let's just call it G1 let's say we have a block over there and put it over here so right now if I go back to the first one the same thing exists over there so I have to go back and update the scene so this is kind of probably is gonna give you guys an idea on how organized you need to be when you're creating the tags when you create your scene to make sure nothing shows up when you create the final one so right now uh, basically I'm gonna hit this I'm gonna remove it update so right now I'm gonna go to the add footing this thing is still in there so I just need to get rid of it right so I'm gonna get rid of that update my scene also slab and grid I don't need it anymore I'll just update and I'm gonna add another scene um, let's just say rename say create G1 so for this right now I need to get rid of this one turn this and update my scene so right now you guys can see I uh, just basically camera moves everything is gonna go to a different area and update everything one last thing so if I let's say go over here and then we did talk about the camera location so if I uncheck these and then hit update so you see that basically right now we're moving and then when I go back to the fence it's not gonna go back to the original camera view so that's why I was recommending make sure you have all of these items on and then uh, because if you let's say you don't have these on so all the items that you go uh, basically let me check this so you guys can see it basically stops in one location update this and then we delete this one okay and then this guy right here I'm gonna get rid of the camera location 
and update so right now no matter what I because I, I deleted and you can see it basically stays in one location and just kind of adjust the other items that I have but again if you want to go back let's say I'm gonna check this is gonna be my view update and then I kind of come over here this is gonna my view update this scene slab upgrade this is gonna be my new view I'm gonna check I'm gonna update this and let's say I want to come over here it's gonna be my G and then update my scene so if I go back you guys can see how basically stuff comes up so I kind of put together this one real quick so I want to show you guys how scenes gonna help you create your whole phasing and then also you're gonna create an animation out of this and we're gonna go through that in a future videos but I want to make sure that you guys get the gist of how deal with the scene how you can create them when you add a new item to one scene it has to be updated from all the previous scenes that was created so if let's say you want to add a crane to you know phase three you need to go back and all the previous phase one and phase two hide that tag so make sure anything that you add to your actual model is grouped it's on the tag and your scenes are updated Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the content, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.